right, hi, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vondren. Breaking legal news, OpenAI, Microsoft, and New York Times, battle of the heavyweights, artificial intelligence at issue. All right, guys, this case was recently filed. Here you go, 12-27-23. This is as fresh as it gets. Filed in the United States District Court, Southern District of New York, filed as a copyright infringement complaint. The plaintiff, New York Times, upset with Microsoft and the OpenAI platform, basically saying that they're in order to teach their learning models of OpenAI, they are scanning New York Times content in order to provide the intelligent answers everybody's looking for out of OpenAI and artificial intelligence. All right, so let's look at the nature of the action here. Independent journalism is vital to our democracy. It is also increasingly rare and valuable for more than 170 years, the Times has given the world deeply reported, expert, independent journalism. Times journalists go where the story is, often at great risk and costs, to inform the public about important and pressing issues. They bear witness to conflicts and disasters, provide accountability for the use of power, and illuminate truths that would otherwise go unseen. Their essential work is made possible through the efforts of a large and expensive organization that provides legal, security, and operational support, as well as editors who ensure their journalism meets the highest standards of accuracy and fairness. This work has always been important. All right, there's a little preamble for you. Here's what we're looking at. Here's the allegations. Defendants' unlawful use of the Times work to create artificial intelligence products that compete with and threatens the Times ability to provide that service, defendants generative artificial intelligence, Gen AI, tools rely on large language models, LLMs, that were built by copying and using millions of the Times copyrighted news articles, in-depth investigations, opinion pieces, reviews, how-to guides, and more while defendants engaged in wide-scale copying from many sources, they gave Times content particular emphasis when building their LLMs. So they're scanning their content, using it for outputs, okay? Revealing a preference that recognizes the value of those works through Microsoft's Bing Chat, recently co-branded as Copilot, rebranded, and OpenAI's ChatGPT defendants seek to free ride on the Times' massive investment in its journalism by using it to build substitute products without permission or payment. This is under the Copyright Act, which recognizes the importance of giving creators exclusive rights over their works. So the New York Times articles are copyrighted, folks. Since our nation's founding, strong copyright protection has empowered those who gather and report news to secure the fruits of their labor and investment. Copyright law protects the Times expressive original journalism, including but not limited to its millions of articles that have registered copyrights. Defendants have refused to recognize this. Powered by the LLMs containing copies of the Times content, defendants' Gen AI tools can generate output that recites, that recites the Times content verbatim closely summarize it and mimics its expressive style as demonstrated by the scores of examples. Um, I'll, I'll post this complaint on my website, but suffice it to say they included a ton of exhibits as to exactly how this is working. Um, I will post this complaint if you want to read the rest of it on my website. But let's go down here. I think we can go down to, whoops, let's go up a little bit. I want to just show you here kind of what they're talking about. And the one I saw that looked easy to digest was here at number 99. There's some complicated stuff in here too as well. But let's go to where's 99. All right. So this will give you an example here. So um, I think this was, all right. So this makes it easy for you. So here they're saying in 2019, Times published a Pulitzer Prize winning five-part series on predatory lending in New York's taxi industry. 18-month investigation includes 600 interviews, more than 100 records, uh, large-scale data analysis, and the review of thousands of pages of internal bank records and other documents and ultimately led to criminal, probe, criminal probes and the enactment of new laws to prevent future abuse. OpenAI had no role in the creation of this content. Yet, with minimal prompting, go to, go to one of these um, chat GPTs and here's what you find. 
will recite the following. Here is the content from the New York Times on the right side. Exempted it from regulations, subsidized its operations, and promoted its practices. Records and interviews showed. So you can see what they wrote here. Compare this with the output. It looks pretty similar. Everything in red is similar. Okay, There's very few things that have actually been changed. So what New York Times is arguing is in substance, you are substantially copying our copyrighted works in coming up with your outputs. So this is, a, this is a big battle that's going on in AI right now. There's a lot of other things in here, different examples of the same thing, how that works. But if we go down, um, and again, I'm going to post this if you want to see it. But suffice it to say, you get down, they're looking for copyright infringement. What's this here? They're looking for copyright infringement, damages, and uh, other uh, remedies. So there you have it, folks. Um, it will be posted on my website if you want to take a look at the full complaint. And uh, But suffice it to say, heavyweight battle, two of the big ones. Uh, I have to say, just based on this, again, these are allegations. Looks like New York Times has a pretty compelling argument here. But you never know. We'll see what else is going on. And of course, these have to be proven by a preponderance of the evidence in the United States District Court, Southern District of New York. All right, guys, general legal information only. Have a great day. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. The ongoing battles, the trials and tribulations of artificial intelligence. Attorney Steve here, if you need help, AI copyright cases, you know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, the first name in legal services. Got to run. Bye now.